Welcome. Brad's house. Nothing special. It's another dump in Long Beach. You know, I call home. All right, guys. We've got Project SEMA Slammer coming in. And coming in hot, we've got a special guest helping us with suspension today. Today we have our suspension specialist, Peyton. She's gonna be here to slam this thing because as we know, everything she has is slammed. So uh, let's get going. There's lots of options here and I forgot to tell you this, but I'll show you my trick and you can use this or you can throw this away. Next time, before you take your bolts completely out, this little thing right here, this Hispanic guy used to tell me all the time when I gotta get a small Oh, screwdriver. use the screwdriver. Yeah, it's a window of opportunity. If you smash it in between the yeah. pad and the rotary because we're getting replaced it, you can push this caliper back, you know, without having to... Um... Yeah. It's really dirty. Um, We've already found like $4 in change. So far, this is our findings in, in money. Here, here. We give all this, we're donating to the local junkies so they can get their fix for the day. So that way, oh look, I found another dime. This car is riddled with money. Who needs to win the lottery when you got Brad's dirty ass car? <laughs> You know, low down. Gary actually likes this car. He's actually said a few things about this car. Your aunt had one, right? My aunt had one of these in white until my crush, my cousin drove it and somebody rear-ended him. My aunt was devastated. As you can see, got the leather all nice and somewhat glossy again. It was very dingy, very dusty. You know, Brad has two beautiful children and I love the dough fish fries all about this car. If this was a customer's car, I wouldn't be doing this, but... That's why I don't have customers, because I'd probably be doing that anyway. <laughs> if you tell the customer, what, are you going to sell your clapped out, blown airbag steering wheel? In the future, kids, if you're doing this on your car, go to your local Harbor Freight and get some extended Torx bits. Now, what that'll do is, won't allow you to look like a dumbass, like myself, and remove and break OEM pieces to your car. Now, me, myself, I don't fucking care. Brad doesn't really care. Peyton doesn't care. I'm sure you don't care. But if you're planning to return this to stock so your grandma Bertha can drive it to her local bingo convention, I'm sure she would care. Make sure you disconnect the battery. Brad almost had me do this with the battery intact. Very sensitive item. Could blow up in your face. You could look like a dude that just got ran by Mike Tyson for two rounds. You don't want to look like that, you know? These are resistors, two amp resistors. And what they're going to do is they're going to convince the steering wheel that the airbag's there so that the SRS light on the dashboard is off. And then this is the extension for the horn to go from this little deal here, which is like the circle thing, to through here and to the button so that we actually have our horn. So this right here is all um, airbag and we're not gonna use any of it. So I might just break it off or cut it off, but you don't want it to short out. So this is the yellow stuff and most cars are all airbag and safety. This and these two wires go to that. Right? So it's a positive and a negative and a positive and a negative. So this airbag thing, we should set this thing off. Put power to it and just boom. There you go, Gary, you got that, right? I got, I got it from here, brother. Damn it. Do you want me to tape this up? Uh, yeah, just, just make it look neat so we can put it back neat, you know? Cleanliness is next to Bradley-ness, you know? So you can see the cops coming from way back and you're always getting chased. <laughs> I don't either. That's not, not, not accurate. Yeah, I agree with you. 
If you drive a hot rod like out there, they wave at you. When you drive these things, they pull you over. What brand is that? <laughs> eBay. Why did eBay gotta have a brand? That don't even look good. They all look good. Let me let me help you out, bro. Let me stop. There, there you go. Dang! Now I can see all the cops. This ain't even a good one. You see, you can't see. No, no. Older ones? I do it myself. I love those things. Why am I a part of this? You a f boy. Don't, don't, yeah. I'm you don't even use your car. You drive my car. I know. How can I, I, I use your car. Every time I'm about to use this car, he's like, this is my car. Get out, son. Yes, sir. This man got the longest shift in the world. I got the best shift knob ever. I saw Jason had an NRG. I said, oh, I got to be just like him. Shout out to Jason. Shout out. looks up to you. Crooked though. I gotta cut that straight. No, as long as you have those three bolts up there, you're good. Oh, yeah. Cool. Is this safe? No. You need it. Absolutely. You want to explain what you're doing right now? Okay, so this is the Honda Strut Spring Compressor. What you do is you take one Honda wheel. Sit it down on the ground, see how it's holding it all perfectly straight and stuff? Perfectly. Yeah, perfectly. Then you take the next one and you set it down right on top of that one. You don't even have to line with these threads or nothing. All you want to do is be able to see that guy right there. Okay, now this is the magic spot. You gotta be able to... You see that dummy part? Yeah. Ready? That's why I'm Whoa! Bam, the strut is done. <laughs> Just like that, no? Just like that! <laughs> okay, that's all you're getting for bump stop. That's all you need. <laughs> yeah, no bump Yeah, so I wanted this with the H here. No, okay, that's like us with the Toyota and the Chevy, okay? Hey. He's trying to commit blasphemy right now. The balancing act. Oh, these are nice. I'm gonna steal them. They're the same lug pattern? What? <laughs> what? I don't know what you're talking about. Same look pattern as my truck, right? She's already like, she's already turned it into a Gary. <laughs> the seat brackets that Brad got may be the wrong, for the wrong chassis. Okay, so Gary, we'll put this back in the house and okay. just give me this bracket right here. Okay. And I'll cut it and make it work. It's super simple. All right. I just got to cut those ears and rotate them. So, as many of you may know, we've got the steering wheel and somehow Brad forgot the bolts, but these bolts for any of you kids that are, are listening are 5 by 0 0.8 for most steering wheels. That's the thread pitch for these. And luckily with this steering wheel kit, we are able to use the horn. So we need to test the horn while well, Brad's out of the car and make sure that it works. Now Brad, smart enough he didn't connect the battery back. <laughs> he did a good job. Brad is not only a qualified the horn blows. The horn does blow. We're gonna put this back. We got there's another piece we're supposed to put so it could sit nice but it works. <laughs>
All right, kids, you see right here, Brad does not have the right seat bracket. So what he did was disassemble the seat bracket and he tack welded them on. Even though these are fit for a Honda, they're not made for his Honda. So he damn near made his own seat bracket with just some ingenuity. <laughs> fit, kinda. I'm cozy. We gonna put one of these on your car, Vargas. Don't break it. Busting this one. <laughs> Taking a break too. Brad. Yep. Whack it once. I hate your ass. I was like 50 swings. I loosened it, okay. Why are you trying to mess up my dick? <laughs> okay. <laughs> one and a half. I say we go down to what, two? One. Two inches one. down? The one. Yeah. All the way down. I say one. I said. Oh. Not bad. Oh. Still need, you still need oh, two, inch, two more inches and you'll be good. Yeah. No, we're leaving that right there. Yeah, That's it. it. That looks perfect. God damn. Not a Vargas approved. Not a Vargas approved? <laughs> oh, dude. I thought that was, was like my Jeep right now. That's how high my Jeep is. Oh, that's looking proper, dude. Can I join the daddy four door committee now? Like, would you and her? Oh. No? You're too ahead of yourself, Dad. God damn, but I don't want my shit to be like this. What's up, Brad? Yeah. What's up, Brad? Dang. First of all, let's get first of all, got a tutorial on hot boying. You just have wheels. You don't like, have his rim comes and meets his body. Yeah. Like it's like. Boy, so steering wheel, horn, seats. Look at those seats. Seat brackets modded by Bradley Saxton. Keep the plastic on there so you get that new car smell in the 2005. You feel me? 2004. We got the rain guards on here so that way you can smoke a doobie while you eat some cookies. You feel me? Dang! I gotta push that camber out though. Here at Saxton, the lineman shop, we have our best mechanic. Eyeball all of your <laughs> fitness. If you need something adjusted, toe in, toe out, toe o, or just do it. We'll do it here at the Saxton Auto Parts. You know what I'm saying? You can get you a top of the line 2004 Honda Accord. We'll get you these instant twisted metal, kill your opponent. Spikes right here, you know what I'm saying? Only the best. If you're running from Sweet Tooth, guaranteed to get five kills or your money back. You hear that knock, knock, knocking at your heaven's door? That's not Guns N' Roses. That's a straight carbon fiber hood. We got the ultimate fitment, best bumpers. We got the quick release steering wheel. And it comes right off like your mother's wig on a Thanksgiving night when your mama don't owe her money. Now let's go. Ready to go. She's racing now. We got the wheels, the lower, the spikes, the tent, the mirror, the chip knob, the seats, the steering wheel. We're ready to go to Vegas. But before this, we're actually gonna do something special. We'll show it at the very end of this, but she done. <laughs> 